Good morning, Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel, Seek the Soul that Truth Lies Within. And today we go ahead with 259th day of a quality blessing in this channel where you can check out the playlist and find out all the different topics. And now let's get back to this Vartan. What does Baba say in this Vartan or this blessing? Baba says, may you be an image who grants visions and who transforms the vision and attitude of many souls with your Satoguni vision. And now we'll explore the meaning of these different different words, which might be new for you. So granting a vision means that either you grant a blessing or you can grant a vision, but you can grant a blessing through your vision. Let's explore that. What does God mean to say? Baba says, it is said, the world changes with your vision. If your vision is pure, then everything which you see in others is also pure. Every every act which you see is pure. Even if it might look like it is disturbing right now, it is not in your favor. But if you have the right vision, then you'll see through it. You'll see after 10 days or 15 days or a year, something good is going to come out of it. And there's patience required for that. That is a divine quality one needs to have for that. So it is said, the world changes with your vision. Let your vision be so satuguni that it changes the vision, attitude and stage of any soul. If somebody comes in front of you and talks ill about somebody else, well, your vision, your thoughts and your words towards that other soul can change the attitude, can change the vision of that person who's complaining about somebody else, regarding somebody else. So, person A comes and complains, about person B, your vision, your purity of your thoughts can change the vision of person A about person B without even uttering anything. <clears throat> that is only possible when we are in the complete Satoguni. That means the highest purified stage in our mind. That means that we are not fighting anymore with impure, pure thoughts in our mind. There is no fluctuation. Fluctuation happens when something is all about I, me, myself. When I think that something regarding me is getting disturbed, I become impure about somebody else. When everything is going well for me and uh, does I don't care about what happens to others, I am very, very pure that time. I'm thinking good about everybody else. So that is what God says that in any situation, if you are completely satoguni, that you are not fluctuating regarding anybody or regarding any situation, regarding any person or regarding yourself, then you are satoguni. So God says, no matter how tamaguni or rajaguni that soul may be, tamaguni means that completely degraded, has no pure thinking, has no truth within itself. Rajaguni means, okay, could be around 25%, 30% is, a little bit of purity is there, a little bit of line of light is there, just like in the moon, you see it's half moon or less than half moon, half crescent moon, that is rajaguni. Tamaguni means completely just a single layer or a single layer of light of the moon is left at this complete moon and we are talking about completely impurity darkness in that soul little bit of light little bit of hope is there and complete moon means somebody who's completely pure Satoguni will be completely pure complete moon so God talks about in comparison to the stages of moon so whoever comes in front of you, they will come to know the three worlds. Now we only know about this physical world and the mind is only connected to this world. God takes us beyond, takes our vision beyond that there is a world beyond this. That is one world and there is another world beyond this where we souls have come from. So there are actually three worlds. That is what we call it, call it as three lok. Scientists are trying to find out the origination of the world but they cannot see it through these physical eyes. None of the telescopes can, or the most powerful telescopes in the world also can't see that world because that those are spiritual worlds which can only be sensed by the soul that you are not through your physical senses also. So your non-physical sense or the sixth sense can connect to that world. So God talks about that. So but for that we need to be detached from the worldly aspects about the sadness, about the extreme happiness stages of this world. When it comes to getting something from this world physically, attaining something of this world physically, if you get too excited or if you get too sad, then it is difficult for the sixth sense of the soul to get connected to those spiritual worlds. 
So God says this is what it means to take someone beyond with your glance. And they can also come to know about the whole life story. They will come to know the three worlds and their whole life story through your drishti. That means they'll come to know they'll have a deja vu kind of feeling. Or that, oh, I'm somebody else. This is not me. This is not who I'm supposed to be. Or this is not the way I'm supposed to react. A tamaguni or, or a rajaguni soul, as we spoke about. They'll suddenly feel that they have something pure within them which they are missing out on. They need to come and get connected to it. So they'll get that feeling through you provided you are in that satuguni stage which is the highest stage of spirituality i am trying to move towards that it's a it's a long path and uh, it takes time but yes drama and god will make it happen so god says this is what it means to take someone beyond with your plans at the end when you won't serve with knowledge end of times there won't be any time to serve with knowledge there won't be any time to sit in front of this camera and talk to you that is the time only through our vision the way we think about the whole world and we can send across messages through meditation knowledge this service will continue then so that is a time when like during the time of uh, covid we could only contact through networking through information technology but at the end of days there will be a time when even information technology even the internet will be down everything will be down that time that time only six sense will work and people will be connected to each other through six sense so there were times when people were connected through six sense then technology came it took away this six sense now again that time is going to come very soon so if you have any comments if you have any views about this this was done and if you have sent something like this a little bit also do put it in your comments so i leave you with this beautiful Vardhan. have a blessed day Stay protected. Om Shanti.